this video we will discuss types of variables and how to identify them. There are two types of variables, numerical and categorical. Numerical, in other words quantitative variables, take on numerical values. It is sensible to add, subtract, take averages, etc. with these values. Categorical or qualitative variables take on a limited number of distinct categories. These categories can be identified with numbers. For example, it is customary to see the gender variable coded as a 0 for males and 1 for females, but it wouldn't be sensible to do arithmetic operations with these values. They're merely placeholders for the levels of the categorical variable. Numerical variables can be further categorized as continuous or discrete. Continuous numerical variables are usually measured, such as height, and they can take on any numerical value. While we tend to round our height when we report it, it's actually measured on a continuous scale. Discrete numerical variables are generally counted, such as the number of cars a household owns. These can be whole, non-negative numbers. It is important to think about the nature of the variable and not just the observed values when determining if a variable is continuous or discrete, as rounding of continuous variables can make them appear to be discrete. Categorical variables that have ordered levels are called ordinal. Think about a survey question where you're asked how satisfied you are with the customer service you received, and the options are very unsatisfied, unsatisfied, neutral, satisfied, and very satisfied. These levels have an inherent ordering, hence the variable would be called ordinal. If the levels of a categorical variable do not have an inherent ordering to them, then the variable is simply called categorical. For example, are you a morning person or an afternoon person? Let's take a look at a quick example. Students in an introductory statistics course were asked the following questions as part of a class survey. What is your gender, male or female? Are you introverted or extroverted? On average, how much sleep do you get per night? What is your bedtime, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., 12 a.m. to 2 a.m., or later than 2 a.m.? How many countries have you visited? And lastly, on a scale of 1, very little, to 5, a lot, how much do you dread this semester? The data are stored in a data matrix where each column represents a variable and each row represents an observation or a case. In this case, our cases are the in this scenario, our cases are the students, there are 86 of them, and we have six um, variables. The first variable is gender. It has two levels with no inherent ordering, hence this variable is just categorical. The second variable, intro extra, is very similar. It also has two levels with no inherent ordering, so it is also called a categorical variable. The third variable measures the amount of sleep students get. It is a numerical and continuous variable. Note that many students rounded their answers, but time is indeed a continuous variable. Bedtime is a categorical and ordinal variable, since the levels have an inherent ordering to them. Number of countries visited is a numerical and discrete variable, since it's not possible for this variable to take on a negative or a non-whole numerical value. Plus, we count the number of countries we visit. How much students dread this semester on a scale of 1 very little to 5 a lot is a categorical and ordinal variable. Categories are represented by numbers and there is an inherent ordering to them. In certain analyses, this variable could also be treated as numerical. I hope that this video has been useful for identifying variable types. Thank you for watching.